Greetings, Chris here. Welcome to the Tabor Library. In case you were wondering, I don't have this many books at home, so I thought it would be a great place to do this uh, video. Looking at Psalm 59 today, this is a Psalm of David. King Saul is hot on his pursuit and actually wanting to kill him. And so you'll get an idea of where David's coming from when he actually reads out this and writes this Psalm for us. We're going to pivot into verse 14 but obviously you are more than welcome to read the whole psalm. We're just limited here with time and wanted to take it from four, verse 14. They return at evening, snarling like dogs and prowl about the city. They wander about for foods and howl if not sat satisfied. But I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. You are my strength. I sing praise to you. You, God, are my fortress, my God on whom I can rely, rely. And when you hear those words that God's your strength, God love for you, God is your fortress, God is your refuge, you can rely on God. Do those words bring you hope? Do they bring you strength and peace? I know for me they do. They are in tremendous encouragement. And my prayer is that it does the same for you. In fact, songwriters speak of that. Let me read to you. I will not sing. I will read out for you a part of a song. Hide me now under, the shed, under your wings. Cover me within your mighty hand. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood. I will be still and know that you are God. What great encouragement that song gives us. And it's taken from a psalm. And it talks about us being still. It talks about us knowing that we can rest in God. So again, when you hear those words, God's strength, God's love, his being a fortress and a refuge for you, you can be amazingly encouraged in this. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you so much that you know us, you hide us in your shadow, and we can rest in you and rely on you. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Have a good week, and until we meet again, shalom.